Hey guys, this is Bruce Marshall from Simpler Trading with the nightly video update for Wednesday, July the 3rd. And we had an early close today and there should be, you know, cannons going off and confetti and all that kind of stuff because we hit 3,000 today, historical time in the market. This is on the ES, hit 3,000 right at the close. And um, let me zoom in here a little bit better. This is for today. Higher, higher, higher. Of course, we had, um, you know, I was anticipating this. If you listen to the videos that I did last Monday or Wednesday, I said last week that we were kind of going out on, I was kind of going out on a limb to throw a price start at, but I said we'll be at 3000 next Friday. And it's Wednesday, we're already there. Um, I still think we'll end up kind of chopping around. It's probably going to be real light volume on Friday and so forth. I still, you know, am shooting for 3,000. But again, we got there today on a just steady, steady move higher. Let's back this out a couple of days. And as you can see, you know, we got the big uh, gap up here on the trade news and you know since then I guess we had some pull back here but it's been pretty much straight up and of course uh, that is a huge magnet up there the 3000 level and um, you know it just made sense that we'd get up there so the big question is now you know where do we go from from here and let's take this this is on the ES and the futures right <clears throat> so let's take this to the cash session on the S&P and we got to 2995.84 on the close. And I had that end of the day push right into the close right there. And as we know, the ES and the S&P are, are, are a little different as far as the, you know, they don't track exactly one for one. <clears throat> so again, I think the SPX will be sitting at 3000 on Friday. I hope we've got uh, a couple of really nice trade pinning play trades for Friday set up on the S&P at 3000 and they look really fantastic at, as of now. So again, what you know, what 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 am I thinking now? What do we expect? And as you can see, we have clearly kind of breached all of the upper levels up here. I've got the voodoo lines up here. Now we do have a skyline coming in at 3010 and let me let me pull this up as well. And as you can see on the fib level here, this is the S&P. Um, we have got a target of 3015. So, you know, I um, we're almost there. I think we reach up and touch this. And I don't. I personally, I don't think we break through. At least not on the first go around. You know, that this took a long time to come back up to the all-time high here. I don't know that we do that again, but um, it would certainly make sense that we pause, take a breather, and so forth. Now, the wild card in all of that is the Fed meeting. So we've got Fed meeting coming up on July 31st. We know that uh, right here, sorry, right there, <clears throat> we know that this is supposed to be the you know, the Fed's going to save us meeting, right? They're going to cut rates and everything's just going to be great. Um, I don't think that's probably going to happen or, or it's less likely to happen now. Now, I saw this morning um, the probability was still about, at this point, it's like 74%, which just kind of surprises me. Um, <clears throat> we were thinking we might get as much as 50 basis point cut. I uh, don't think that's going to happen. I think we might get 25, but with uh, China tariff negotiations um, being more favorable, that's less likely that the Fed cuts. So again, nobody knows, and we're still, you know, we're still several weeks out. Uh, but you know, as it relates to how we trade, you know, I would. Uh, I'm continuing the same exact thing I've been doing for weeks and weeks. You know, I'm trading this higher, higher, higher. It's been working great. And I've been hedging uh, with some kind of downside trades to catch, you know, down moves. Or if we do get, you know, a big move, I'll, I'll have something in place there to catch it, right? Um, so, again, trading it to the upside. And we could do this with any of the indexes, you know, but I'm trading them to the upside. Everything at this moment looks very bullish and all that kind of stuff. There's no 
real reason other than psychological reason that we have to stall out here at 3000 or at 3015 but um i would be i'd be surprised if we don't pull back a little bit um and, and maybe again maybe we don't because of the fed uh, the potential of a fed rate cut might keep us you know just going going but we you know, as always, we got to be careful. Um, take your profits when you can. I've, I've taken quite a few wins lately, and I've probably left, you know, some money on the table on most of those. But um, at the same time, you know, we're one tweet away, our one uh, news flash away from, you know, from something happening. So, again, in a market like this, you've got to be got to be careful. Now, um, again, let's go back to five day chart here. You know, we can we can have a downdraft at any time, so just you know be be aware. So anyway, um, that is what I've got. I want to keep it short and sweet this time because I know most of you guys want to get out and enjoy the Fourth of July and get ready for it and all that stuff. I really don't have much else to you know to say other than um, you know, hooray! You know we did it, three thousand, and uh, and now you know the big question is where do we go from here? And I will keep playing it. Um, cautiously hesitantly to the upside with some you know the higher we go the the more i will do hedging and um backstopping you know which is mo basically like stop loss on the downside with with some little um hedging and uh opportunistic trades on the downside that i can do relatively uh inexpensively and um you know and protect myself on the downside so and it's been working and i suspect it will keep working so it worked through the vast majority of all this and it's it's been working here as well so that's been a good plan to follow so with that let me wind it up um everyone have a fantastic fourth of july and um i will see you guys at the next update thanks